Christine Walters, I'm the Associate Director for IMNT at Penn Isle Acute Trust. Uh, lots of things going on and some really good news. The IMNT strategy is starting to um, actually started to take form. Uh, we've been out to tender for the building for the new data centre and the uh, supplier has been selected. It's gone to the board and they've uh, approved the final expenditure. So now I've got a brand new building underway. Uh, won't be ready until March of next year to hand over to the team. But once it gets handed over, we'll be looking to start to commission it April and May next year, which is really good news. The wireless network um, going in across the whole hospital, that's going really well. So we should certainly have that finished before the end of this year, which will help to support being able to access patient records at the bedside. Key to that is actually upgrading our PaaS system to uh, patient centre. Uh, our PaaS is supplied by iSoft and it's very old technology, but it really does run the hospital extremely well. It's got its shortcomings and patient centre will address those shortcomings. And all being well, according to be, you know, hit uh, no snags, we should be going live on the new hardware at the end of November. Big relief to me is we've had a couple of downtimes recently due to the past hardware being old and obviously with having new hardware it will uh, mitigate that risk for the future. But the other good thing is that we've got um, the standby box will be a lot quicker to implement and switch over to than the current one. So at the moment it can take anything from half an hour to a couple of hours and with the new hardware it'll only take a couple of minutes so that's got to be really good news. Once the hardware is in, we can then upgrade to patient centre itself. Uh, we've already started to configure the software and the first area we're going to focus on is live ADT um, with integrated bad management. And we're not so good, unfortunately, at that uh, as an organisation and, and, you know, uh, the new software will certainly help to improve things. Um, we are focusing very much on the nurses to start with, so as well as the live ADT, we're going to be designing the software to support them and helping them to manage patient flow. We've also started to work on our electronic uh, requests and results for the doctors. Um, the intention is to actually provide this for all investigations regardless of what they are. We, st we are hoping again to start to um, do some implementing and piloting um, in January with a view again of running out across the organisation over next year. So it's really good to start to see some progress on the, on the PAS uh, patient centre side. So the infrastructure guys are pretty busy, which is a bit of a challenge because our data centre, our current data centre is absolutely full uh, uh, as it is at the moment. So we're really having to move things and squeeze things around to, to accommodate these uh, new servers. We're also doing some work, work with one of our other suppliers, Ascribe. Um, we've got a couple of their systems. We've got one in A&E and we've also got the pharmacy. Now, I'm not convinced that we use the functionality or using the system to the maximum of its capability. So they've agreed to come in and do some work with us um, to make sure that we are fully utilising the systems appropriately. Big focus, obviously, with Quip at the moment. Um, we've de uh, decided on the supplier that we're going with, with for digital dictation and we will actually uh, be the business case will be going to the capital committee for approval this month it is more or less complete would hope to start rolling that out um, in december time and again a big project because so we're such a large site but i would hope that that would be finished before the end of uh, the next firm the next calendar year and then at that point we're going to start looking at speech recognition we've decided after our pilots to to split the two um, the Trust has got uh, GP electronic requests and results in place for, for its pathology tests with our local GPs and that has been really well received. It's a win-win for everybody, both for the GPs and for the Trust. We're now extending that to other areas of investigation and we're expanding that to radiology, which should be in place by the end of the year. We're also opening up our PAC system so all the GPs can now access any images that have been taken at the hospital, whether it's they've been ordered by themselves or been ordered by doctors within the hospital itself. So we are making the first moves to starting to open our IT systems up much more to the to the GPs. So there's a heck of a lot going on and the strategy is moving forward. I've been very much focused and busy involved in trying to do a departmental restructure as part of the strategy. Never the easiest of things to do. We've actually started work on providing dashboards using um, 
based on the InView product and using ClickView. That has been extremely well received by the operational staff. We've uh, actually just finished the first set of dashboards for the surgical division and they are uh, should have gone live uh, on Friday. Uh, big positive feedback from the operational staff because they can now when they're not hitting targets they can look down at hospital at ward by consultant um by pct whatever and, and try and understand why we're having the if we're not hitting a target why we're not and to learn from those wards or areas where they are hitting targets so we have made some really good progress since i last did this um video diary um, I wish I could say the same about the National Programme for IT. The news from Morecambe Bay hasn't changed since I did my last diary. We were still aware that there's pro problems both at Morecambe Bay and at Bury, and neither of them have still signed off the deployment certificates and then no dates have come out for um, the next phase two um, early adopters. Really disappointing news. Um, you know, our strategy in this trust is still to take Lorenzo when it becomes available and that hasn't changed. Um, I keep hoping we might get some better news soon, but there doesn't seem to be any signs, um, which, um, you know, for everybody is.